Hi everyone, my name is Jordan Donaldson and today I'll be showing you all how to shoot a basketball with proper form. While there's a lot of debate over what exactly constitutes proper form, the overwhelming majority of successful basketball players will agree with what I'm about to show you. If you want to have any sort of success as a basketball player and you're under 7 feet tall, you're going to need to know how to shoot the basketball. So assuming you're right-handed, you're going to want to start with your right foot in front of your left foot and you want to have both of your feet angled to the left of the basketball goal. While this may be counterintuitive to most of you, it ensures that you have a fluid motion in your shot. Ray Allen of the Boston Celtics, known for his shooting ability, says in a video released by the NBA that shooting is not about his upper body, it's about his lower body and making sure that his shot is one fluid motion. So now that we know what direction our feet should be facing and how far apart they should be, about shoulder width, we want to look at our knees and our hips. They should be in a loaded position and we don't want them to be too low to where we get slow and shoot the ball too far and we don't want them to not have enough bend because then we'll end up short. So our loaded position should look about like this. It might take some practice to figure out how low exactly you need to go. Uh, and then for your back, you want to have it straight and bent slightly forward, looking about like this. So moving on to our hands, we want to have our right hand behind the center of the basketball and our left hand on the left side of the basketball. Our right hand is going to generate the power and our left hand is going to be the guide hand which controls whether the ball goes to the right or to the left. So our right hand is where we get the majority of our power, while our left hand just makes sure that it doesn't go too far to the side. So when we start our shot, we want to bring the ball up while we get into our loaded position. So we bring the ball up into our set point, which is this position right here. We want to have the ball slightly away and above our forehead and we want to have our elbow at a 90 degree angle, like this. So when we get into this position here and we start to go up, we want to flick our wrist and lock our elbow at the same time, like this. Our eyes should be focused on the front of the rim and we want to imagine the ball going through the center of the hoop. Put all together, that looks like this. In conclusion, we know the proper positioning for both our lower body and our upper body, and we know that our shot should be one fluid motion. And that is how you properly shoot a basketball.